Hi guys, Everyday Knife Guy here, and I just want to take a quick look at something I received in the mail today, which is the Lansky uh, Turnbox Croc Stick Sharpener. Uh, this is the four rod version. Um, haven't even had it out of the box yet, want to take a look at it with you first of all. So, as you can see, there's, well, there's thousands of videos on this on YouTube, so you've probably already seen it a few times, but it is a small wooden box uh, with a built-in storage compartment, and then you have four uh, ceramic rods that go with it, too coarse, too fine. On the back, you've just got a basic illustration of how to set it up, um, and about the angles on it. Now, this has a you can see here it has a 20 degree and a 25 degree setting. Um, it would be nice if it had a third setting for maybe a 15 or 17, something like that, for a, a finer slicing knife. It is advertised for being good for outdoor knives, which you'd, I guess you'd usually say be 25, sometimes 20. Uh, kitchen, usually be 20, 17, 15, something like that. And shop knives, which again are going to be 25, usually maybe 20, depending on what sort of use you're putting it to. So. Yeah, so that's it. It's a pretty simple little thing. Um, not very expensive. Can't quite remember what I paid for it. It wasn't um, wasn't much over twenty bucks, I don't think, on Amazon in Canada. And uh, things are usually a bit more expensive here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can get this open, get it set up. There you go. And ah, so this opens up and has a bit more instructions on the inside. So I've watched quite a few, video, few videos on people using this, and I'm a pretty novice sharpener, but I do know the the, the real basics. So I'm pretty much just gonna, in true man style, ignore those instructions altogether, and we're just gonna give it a go, see what happens. Um, I'm not gonna use this on a $300 knife. I'm just going to try it on a basic everyday knife and see how we get on. So yeah, there's the the coarser rods and the finer ones. Um, so let's just set that to the side just now, put those down there. So the box itself, uh, quite a nice little wooden box, pretty attractive and uh, pretty compact. You could slip that in a pack or a glove box of the car or just sit it on a shelf here in the shop. That would be would be great. So that opens up like that or doesn't go doesn't go that way to open other holes you'd have to go right round like that so there you go um, so what I'm going to do is well, I'll leave the rods out for now because I'm going to probably use both I think um, the knife I want to take a look at is my Ontario Rat 1 um, this gets a lot of heavy use for me so it's probably going to be um, I believe it's angled at 25 degrees at the moment so I'm going to stick with that and just try and sharpen it up a bit let's get a bit of paper here and as you can see, this thing, at the moment, will not cut butter. I'm not even going to bother looking at that with foam book paper. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and, and start and try and give this a sharpen and see uh, what sort of improvement we can make to that. Yep, certainly not doing any damage to my finger. Nail, it'll shave a little bit of nail, but it certainly won't shave hair. So let's go ahead and I think I'm going to start with the coarse rods. Let's just take a look at these before we start. They seem to be all one piece and don't feel particularly coarse, but I, you know, things with sharpeners, um, as I say, I'm not very experienced, but from what I know, like, they can make a huge difference between something that feels like that and something that feels like these white ones, which are very, very smooth to the touch. I'm not sure if it actually tells you what grit these are or if they are just says two medium grit grey uh, for sharpening and two fine grit white for finishing. Um, five inch alumina ceramic rods doesn't give you a, a grit specification on them. So let's go ahead and uh, drop those in there. And see, I've watched quite a few videos on this. Um, it's not. So, it might be something I leave sitting on the bench for touch ups. I just wanted to get it and give it a go. See how I get on. So um, the theory with this is. The rods are, top down view isn't working for me very well here, but as you can see the rods are at an angle and the theory is simply the knife is brought down straight and across the rod, um, so that dictates what angle it's being sharpened at. So provided I can manage to keep this straight, um, and given the camera angle it may or may not look straight all the time, but I will do my best to 
keep it straight to my eye and we will see how we get on. So let's bring it down. Now a lot of videos comment on the possibility of rounding off the tip of the knife if you come right down and draw it out. So I'm going to make an effort to just bring the sharpener up to the tip but obviously trying to get the tip sharpened but not go too far. Um, other people have said it's not a huge issue. Uh, you might just need a bit of a touch up to get your tip back but um, we'll give it a go. I'll do the best I can. As I say it's not an expensive knife. It's a bit of a beater so this is just, just for practice. So I think I'm going to do 10-10 and, 10, um, and then uh, see where we're at after that. So that's one. Ten. So I wonder if that's uh, if there's any burr there. Yeah, they don't feel a lot, but then these aren't very coarse rods. Let's just see. Um, I do have the the Lansky sharpening system that uses this clamp, and I kind of I bought this recently. I'm going to do a review on this video review on this soon, and this is kind of what I would intend to do more for reprofiling a major resharpening. So normally I'd probably put this on this knife in the system with the coarse uh, stone that came with it. Uh, so this uh, crock box might not actually be severe enough to get a knife in this shape back to condition. This is more for touch-ups in my book, but we'll see how we get on. So. So I'm just trying to keep that straight as I can, uh, 10 and 10. I don't know if that'll have made any difference at all. We may need to go in our 10. Yeah, there's, a, there's a little bit of cutting starting to happen there, and of course we've still got to finish this edge, but let's go ahead and do an R10, I think, on each side. And some videos I've watched, I've seen people alternate every stroke. Other ones just go by time. I'm going to completely lose my count here if I talk to you, but that's seven, I think. Just trying to concentrate on not rolling that tip past the ceramic rod. But I also realize you probably don't want to watch this all day, so I'm trying to be quite quick and just see how we get on here. It's my very first try with this system, so I'm not expecting great things, but if I can get this knife to cut paper uh, within five minutes of opening the box of this thing, that'll be great. So there we go. It's so had 10, 10, 10, 10, so 20 on each side. Um, let's see if we can find an edge here. No, I think I think I've really blunted it anything. Oh no, we're starting to get a little bit. Let's just uh, go ahead and switch over to the fine ones and see if there is any edge there to finish yet. I don't really know if I've done enough to get anywhere with this, but uh, so let's go one, one, two, two, three, three. And you can start to see on the white. Uh, when we're using the white ceramic here, you can start to see, well, maybe you can't with this camera, but I can start to see there's a, is this going to focus? There is a very fine line there, or you can see the steel coming onto the the white ceramic. Uh, you can't really see that in the grey, obviously, but, so there is a little bit of material being left there. So we can just hold this stone up and see if we focus on this. Yeah, so you can see there, even after just a couple of passes on the on the fine rod, there is that blackish blackish grey line right along here. Of course, the theory with these rods is you can rotate them, and that's the beauty of the circular ones, I guess, as opposed to the the triangular, like the spider core rods. So you can rotate these as you go, and um, you know you got plenty of actual surface area there to sharpen on, if that's the actual thickness of the line you're making with each uh, with each knife that you do, I guess. So let's pop those back in. Um, we'll just keep alternating for a little bit. Now, we need to just see if um, perhaps I'm not being precise enough with the angulation of the knife. I'm trying to keep it as straight as I can. I could be thinking I'm sharpening this and completely rounding it. I don't know. 
a couple more and see if we have any uh, any improvement on the paper. Mm, perhaps a little. It's a little better. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to change back to the coarse rods and go over this a little bit more. Let's get back and focus here. Uh, go over this a little bit more. I'm going to pause the video for now. Maybe do another 20 with each side with the coarse. Um, and do almost 20 with each side with the fine. And then I'll come back and we'll give it another go. Okay, so I have now done another maybe 20 on each with the coarse and 20 on each with the fine. And as you can see now, if I can get this to focus, uh, there's now quite a thick line of where the steels come off on the fine ceramic. I don't know if that's too much or too little or if I am pressing too hard, too light. I'm not sure if the fact that that is curved means that I am completely, uh, you know, just making a mess of this. But it's going to be a bit of experimentation for me until I can uh, use this thing to get good results. But I just wanted to see uh, straight out of the box what would happen. So I'm going to put that back in there, just do a couple more on each side of this, and then we'll give it a go on the paper again. I'm quite light with this now. Um, I wonder if that's that's maybe going to help, but we shall see. So now to the touch. Certainly, yeah, it's certainly got a lot more bite to it than it had. So um, you know, I mean, I use this knife primarily if I'm out having a fire pit around a campfire, um, whittling a log, whatever, um, chopping up some very fine bits of kindling. Um, fire starting stuff so it's a user knife it's a beater knife it doesn't need to be a uh, phone book paper slice and sharp for me it just needs to be sharp enough to cut the sort of things I use it to cut it's not um, it's not for doing fine work so I don't even make excuses but it would be nice if it would cut a bit of paper and uh, let's see uh, let's see if it will Oops. so I'd say the edge seems a little a little better there Certainly a little better than when we started. It's not exactly razor sharp, but there's now more cutting than tearing going on, so yeah, so it's uh, it's getting there. I guess the edge is probably a little uneven still or a little toothy. It's definitely do with being being stropped. Um, let me just see if I can see if I can smooth it up any on my uh, secret stropping material here. You've heard me speak of this before. Now the secret stropping material is highly secret, so I don't know if it's ever going to come on camera, or maybe one day I'll reveal what it is. But it's something that I use regularly. It doesn't cost anything, and I find it to be extremely effective. So I don't know if it's going to make any difference in this case. Seems to have made a little bit of difference. Yeah, I think like it definitely cuts a bit of paper now. I'd say the edge is probably still pretty rough uh, or toothy, if you like. Uh, I would need to maybe I don't know if that means I go over these more, strop it more, or maybe I uh, started off with the other Lansky system with something a little coarser and get the edge a little better and a bit of better burr before I move to something like this. Um, that's something I will have to experiment with and see. Um, if you've used the system or if you just know anything more about sharpening than I do, which wouldn't be too difficult to be honest, then please let me know in the comments if you have any advice or what you think I did wrong or if I just need to use it more. Um, if I'm not going over it enough times, too heavy, too light, wrong angle, what it could be. But I mean, overall, I'm not too disappointed with that. This knife was, as you saw, uh, certainly not um, skin cutting sharp. I certainly wouldn't run this over my finger now. It'll cut some copier paper, which it certainly wouldn't do before. And the actual sharpening time is maybe um, five minutes, first time I've used it. So, overall, not too uh, disappointed with that. 
And as I showed you at the start, the system just... And I'm probably going to put the coarse rods in that side because I'd expect to use the fine ones on their own a bit more often. So I'll put those on the far side. Fine ones on this side. I don't think, no, there's no mark to indicate which way you should do that. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, that's how it's going to look on my shelf. And usually it'll just be a case of half turn, fine rods into there, sharpen a knife, put the whole thing away and under, probably in just a couple of minutes. So uh, once you get the hang of this, I think it's certainly going to find some regular use for me. And I'm pretty pleased with it. I certainly like the overall package. Um, this might be a great time to go back and actually look at these. Uh, that I, I discarded a little bit flippantly at the start. Maybe I'll go and read these and let them uh, let them educate me on how to use this and see if uh, that gives me a pointer on how I could have done this initial initial test a bit better. But overall, I'm pretty happy. So, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or uh, suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks. Have a great day.